How many tens are there in 1 lakh? How many tens are there in 33,465? How many tens are there in 2 millions? Not only tens. How many tens are there? How many hundreds are there? How many thousands are there? Are you getting questions like this? And you don't know how to do this one easily. Don't worry. You just see till the end of this video. Definitely you will understand how to solve these problems easily. Hi everyone. I am Ramya Kartike. Welcome to Foundation Marks Hub. there in this topic if you understand that it is easy for you to solve whatever the question is before diving into the topic you just grab all your writing materials so that it is easy for us to write okay math without writing materials won't make sense so go and take your writing materials and come if you want to master this topic in this video you just have a good mindset to learn if you are in learning mindset then it is easy to learn everything there is a small requirement for this topic. Before learning this, the student should know what is Indian number system and international number system. And if I am telling a number, the student should be able to write that. How many tens are there in 10, 100, 1000? We will see this one first. How many tens are there in 10? It is very very easy, right? We are just having one ten. Yes or no? Kana? So one ten is there in ten. Yes or no? Same way. Come to hundred. How many tens are there in one hundred? Now we know that in order to get tens, we need just one zero. Yes or no? So you just consider this zero alone. You just leave this zero alone, and you just see what are the numbers before that. What is that number? It is 10. So, you are having 10 tens. Okay. Now, you just see for this one. How many tens are there in this thousand? You just leave the zero. And before this, what number you are having? It is 100. So, 100 tens. Yes. How many tens are there in 10,000? So, what you are going to do? You just leave the zero. And see what is the number before this that is thousand. So we are having thousand tens. Now this number has six digit. Here comes the Indian number system, international number system. So based on the number system, you will change the commas. Okay. But whatever the number system is, if you want to find how many tens this number has, just leave one zero and consider what is the number before that. It is 10,000. It has 10,000 tens. Okay. Now, if you are writing this with this comma format, it is Indian number system. We will learn this as 1 lakh. How many tens are there in 1 lakh? It is very simple. You just leave this alone. You just leave the last zero alone and read what are the number. It is 10,000, right? So, you just count how many zeros are there. You just write 10,000 tens. Same way, if you are splitting like this, that is international number system, right? This is 100,000. How many tens are there in 100,000? That is very easy. You just leave the zero and write 10,000 tens are there. Yes, if you leave this zero, you are having 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, zeros, right? That is 10,000 tens. Yes, it is same. Yes or no? 10,000 tens is same for everything. Now, you just see this one. I don't know what number is this without commas, right? Even if you don't know what number it is, you just leave. In order to find how many tens are there in this number, you just leave this zero and you just tell me how many, uh, what is that number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, okay? Instead of this last zero, I am writing the tens. You will be having that much tens in this. Okay. So, actually this is 1 lakh tens or 100,000 tens. Okay. It depends upon the number system. If you are writing in Indian number system, 
then you will write it as 1 lakh tens are there. If you are writing in international number system, you will write it as 100,000 tens are there. Now you just see this example. How many tens are there in 12? It is similar to the previous case. Yes, for tens, how many zeros are there? One zero, right? So from last, you just leave that one zero. This is unit place, right? You just leave the unit place and you just see the number before. What is that? That is one, right? So in this question, we are having one tens. Okay. So you just see, you just understand why it is one tens. How you can write this 12? It is actually 10 plus 2, right? Out of this 12, you can make one tens. Yes or no? So this is has one tens. Okay. Now, same way, you just see the second question. 236. How many tens are there in 236? It's very simple. You are just going to leave the last digit and you are going to tell the rest of the thing. That is 23 tens. Actually here what is happening? It is 23 tens and what is left over? What is this? This is units right? Plus 6 units makes 236. Okay. Now, same way, you just leave the last digit, the 6 alone, and write 598 tens. That's all. It means 598 tens plus 6. Okay. But the question is, they are asking just how many tens are there. So, if you are getting question like this, a 10, we are having 10. You just circle 10 and write the rest of the number as an answer. Okay. Same way, you just tell for this. You will be leaving this number and you will be telling the other thing. So it is 5469 tens. Yes or no? Now you just see how many tens are in there in this number. You just leave this number alone. Read the rest of the number. 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 8 tens are there. You can able to do this quickly, right? If you understand the logic, it is easy because this is completely based on the place values. This is units and this is tens. So we are considering only the numbers above tens. Okay. You are not considering this units. Are you clear with this? If you are clear with how many tens are there in certain number, then it is easy for us to do it. How many hundreds are there? How many thousands are there? Whatever the question is. Okay. We will see how it is. Now you just see here. How many hundreds are there in 24? You just think yourself as a shopkeeper and in your shop you are having 24 chocolates. Okay. Now a customer is coming and he is asking for 100 chocolate. Is it possible for you to go? You are just having 24 chocolates but he is asking 100 chocolate. It is not possible. If the number is less than 100, it is not possible to make 100 from that. Yes or no? Kana? So, how many hundreds are there in 24? We can't make hundreds. So, it is zero hundreds. Yes or no? Kana? Okay. Now, you just see 263. Now, you are going to find how many hundreds are there in 263. For hundreds, how many zeros are there? Two zeros, right? So, same way you are going to circle two numbers. If you didn't understand, you can write with the place values. This is ones, tens, hundreds. So, we are going to consider the number above the hundreds. We are going to leave the numbers after the hundreds. That means, you are going to leave the last two digits. So, the answer for this question is, we are having two hundreds. How many hundreds are there in 263? We are having two hundreds. Now, you just see. How many hundreds are there in 5986? Same way, you just leave the last two digit and tell the rest of the number. It is actually 59 hundreds. Actually, what is that 59 hundreds means? We are, it is 5900 is 5900. In this, we can make 59 hundreds. And with that, we are having extra 86. Okay. Now, with this 86, we can't make 100. So, we can make 5900 out of this 5986. Same way, try for this. 
you just leave the last two digit and just write five four six hundred now same way in this case leave the last two digit and what is the left over it is twelve thousand three hundred and sixty five hundreds you can do this quickly yes or no karna if you understand the logic it is easy yes same way for thousand also if you want to write for thousand you leave three digits and you will tell the rest of the thing now you just see this example how many tens how many th hundreds how many thousands are there in these numbers okay if i want to write how many tens are there you will be leaving one zero and you will be writing the rest of the number so it is 2359 tens how many hundreds are there in 23598 now what you should do hundreds means you have to leave two zero two digits yes you leave two digits and write the rest of the thing it is 235 hundreds same way tell for thousand how many digits i should leave i want to leave three digits right so we can make 23 thousands are you clear with this try the next problem how many tens are possible in this one you just leave one digit and tell what are the rest of the number 8695 tens how many hundreds are there in this one means you are going to leave two digit and tell me other thing 869 hundreds and the other thing and how many thousands are there in this you are just going to leave this and you are just going to write 86 thousands are possible yes 86 thousands are there same way for this leave one digit and write the rest of the number 2 3 6 9 8 tens leave two digit and write for hundreds now 2 3 6 9 hundreds next for thousands you are going to leave three digits it is 236 thousands yes children i hope you understand this concept clearly if you can able to do whatever the question similar question if you are having the confidence you can do this you just type it in the comment box i can do it okay you just type i can do it so that i know that you can able to solve a similar problem like this yes super same way if you want me to teach any other topic like this you just mention it in comment box so that i'll make video on that and if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and share to your friends and don't forget to follow so that you can see future videos stay tuned with ramya kartikeyan foundation max hub